hi friends welcome back to my channel it's Ibilalako here and if you're new thank you for tuning in and I really hope you stay today I'm going to be showing you how to cook rich authentic delicious moist Nigerian jollof rice I'm going to be showing you how to make it my way which is also the Nigerian way this dish is absolutely delicious it is known for its richness you know what if you're interested in watching and getting all the tea in achieving this let's just get right into it For my jollof rice to make the base um, which is the sauce I always use vegetable oil just a cup of vegetable oil is fine I also add some onions onions gives your jollof rice a very nice flavor and a very nice taste the moment you add your onions everywhere is already smelling so so nice so I love 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 adding lots of onions in my jollof rice as you can see guys I just added tomato paste tomato paste also gives you that rich redness that you get from jollof rice but you want to make sure that you fry it properly to get the raw taste out and the smell I don't like when you know I see that or when I smell that in my jollof rice or when I taste it so that's what I'm seeing here I fry it till it's properly done like 10 minutes should be fine for you to get that taste out I also added some canned tomatoes you can use your regular raw tomatoes just blend it and you still get the same um, taste and you still achieve the perfect jollof I just do this sometimes when I'm too tired to go to the store I get my canned tomatoes pop it open and pour it so yeah I tried to fry that as well I fry it for about another 10 minutes to make sure it's properly fried to achieve perfect jollof rice guys don't rush you don't rush to make this dish you have to take your time and that's what you see me doing here properly frying that sauce what I also do is I grill my red bell peppers before I blend it it kind of saves you time of you know really really cooking and trying to get that raw taste for, out of your peppers so I grill it for about 10 minutes and then I blend it so at the time when you do all of this you know it's easier for all of your um, sauce to fry together so that's what you just see me doing here I'm going to pour the water that I got from grilling these peppers into the blender and just blend everything so it's properly smooth. For jollof rice, I love, love, love to use garlic and ginger. Oh my god, I cannot overemphasize the flavor that this adds to your Nigerian jollof rice. I feel like in the past I never used to use garlic and once I started using garlic and ginger ginger specifically it takes your jello fries to a whole different level it makes it absolutely rich it gives it a very nice flavor and it's just very very delicious so make sure you add some ginger make sure you add some garlic I also added some spicy habanero pepper scotch bonnet is fine whatever you have is fine if you don't have scotch bonnet if you don't have habanero pepper you can use Jamaican hot pepper you can use Cameroon pepper you can use dried pepper but to be honest guys you should use the fresh habanero or scotch bonnet pepper because it just gives you a really good intense flavor so I blended my peppers together and I added it to the base that I already had and I'm just going to fry all of this together for about 10 minutes just to make sure that you know all of the raw taste like I said is totally gone I don't want that taste at all I want my tomato base to be fried I'm just adding some water and I also rinsed the can 
um because i had some more tomato paste there and i just poured it into the sauce nothing is wasting honey <laughs> absolutely nothing so you have to add some water and some stock if you have chicken stock beef stock whatever stock you have goat meats it just whatever flavor you know whatever stock you add that's the flavor you get but to really make authentic Nigerian jollof you want to use goat meat on this day I didn't have goat meat but I had made goat meat like some days ago so I just used the stock so use whatever stock you have chicken stock um, goat stock it will still be nice and as you can see here guys I'm just adding my seasoning if you've been watching my videos for a while now you'll be familiar with the seasonings that I use all the time a detailed description or amounts that I use will be in the description box below but yeah these are all the ingredients that I use because this is what gives my jollof rice a very nice rich flavor if you don't have anything it's fine believe me guys it is fine you can just add your curry your thyme your seasoning cube and it will still be nice you know your basic ingredients um one thing that i didn't mention though is that i added crayfish you would have seen me add crayfish this was just something that i added for the first time i never really add crayfish to my jello fries but i love the flavor that i get from crayfish and i just wanted to see how that would look in jello fries and guys it was so so good it was absolutely delicious so this crayfish definitely took my jello fries to a whole different level and then i added some water i cooked it for about another 10 minutes covered it and now i'm adding my washed rice i use regular parboiled rice that's what i love for my jello i don't like basmati I don't like you know whatever other rice is there this is just my perfect rice for my perfect Nigerian jollof and it comes out really really nice I love you know how it looks and how it tastes you don't want to put too much water in your jollof rice please be very careful you don't want so totally soft rice I mean if you like that that's fine but that's not how I like it I love it really moist really tender very rich but not too soft so I didn't add too much water probably added like two cups of water in the whole cooking process I would also show you a way of making your jello fries soft without you know pouring all the water in the world into your food in order to enhance the cooking process or to make it soft so like I said guys don't add too much water two cups of water is fine for this rice I use like four bowls of rice and two cups of water and it was fine so like I said something that I absolutely love to add in my jollof rice is onions onions takes this meal to a whole different level I cannot overemphasize the flavor that you get from onions I love onions I put onions in the beginning when I'm frying to give me that flavor and I also put it at the end because it's so nice something else that I put that I just didn't put in this video is sliced tomatoes so you can do that as well it's also you know really nice but I don't really do that all the time but I would never 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 you would never see me skip putting onions in my jello fries because it's 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 absolutely delicious so guys I also added some water like I said I added about two cups of water you don't want to put too much water in your rice so this is the fun part guys the firewood taste that I was talking about moist firewood smoky party jello fries this is where it comes to play so you want to wrap your jello fries with a foil um, this also makes um, the rice get softer without you necessarily adding too much water 
I do it in the very beginning and I just lower the heat a bit medium heat is fine I put the foil um, wrap on the pot seal it totally you don't want any openings and I just cover it and I leave it to cook I would check in in about 15 minutes on medium heat trust me it's not going to burn obviously your jello fries is going to burn a bit don't allow anybody to deceive you if you want to achieve smoky jello you have to kind of like burn it a, a tad bit but not too much please don't leave your jello fries and go and facetime with your boyfriend or leave your jello fries and go and ch chat or watch the news it's going to overly burn you don't want that please you do not want that you don't want black and you know different kinds of colors of jello fries you don't want it to burn in essence so i also left it for another for an additional five minutes in 20 minutes it was done and this is how it came out this was so easy to make please try this recipe don't allow anybody to scare you jello fries is really not that hard you just have to really take your time because it's one of those meals that it actually takes time and that's why it's so popular and that's why it's so delicious um, yeah guys so this came out really nice 20 minutes later absolutely delicious very very moist very rich in flavor and it was also very smoky even though I didn't use firewood you can still achieve the typical firewood smoky jello fries and yeah guys if you enjoyed this recipe please like share and subscribe to my channel especially for more videos like this it really does help my channel and the best part of it is it's completely free thank you all for watching i hope you try this recipe and i'll catch you guys in my next one enjoy